In 2013, Croatia will probably become a member of the European Union. What does that change for our country? The first thing is it has to be your decision. Uh, Croatia is a sovereign country, an independent democracy, and in the past, uh, like all of us, you have had experience of being brought into political unions by a small number of people in the elite. Uh, union with Hungary, uh, union with the Habsburgs, union with the Kingdom of Slovenes and Serbs, Yugoslav Federation. So this has to be on terms that are acceptable to the whole people of Croatia, not just the politicians who will have great benefits from the European Union, believe me. Um, if you decide that you want to join, then we, we European Conservatives and Reformists will be your strongest supporters, your loudest advocates, your best allies. We have always been in favour of a wider instead of a deeper Europe. We want a Europe of nations, free peoples, free markets, free sovereign parliaments. And we think that it is wrong to put extra conditions in the way of Croatia which were not required of other countries. You should be treated fairly, in the same way that every other member state is. Are there any conditions extra for Croatia? Well, I think there have been some conditions uh, relating to the war, uh, relating to the status of minorities, uh, and I think that uh, you, you have to be satisfied that the eventual membership package is acceptable. I'm, I'm very pleased that Croatia is having a referendum. Uh, whichever way you vote, we will then try and get you the best possible uh, relationship. If you're full members, we'll try and get you the best terms. If you vote against, we will try and get you the best uh, deal as a uh, trading partner and an, as an associate. Uh, there are many unions in our history, in the whole world's history, that fell apart. What is the... Can you, pre uh, can you predict the future of European Union? It's true. Uh, supranational unions only work when there is no democracy. As soon as people are given the vote, they vote for peaceable separation. We saw it with the Ottoman Empire, we saw it with the Habsburg Empire, we saw it with the Yugoslav Federation. You can have a supranational state held together by an autocratic government, but as soon as you have a free democracy, people vote for separation. And that's why we believe that it should be a Europe of nations, a Europe based on parliamentary democracy and on the particular legitimacy that people feel for their own national institutions. There is nothing wrong with patriotism. Patriotism doesn't mean you look down on somebody else's country. On the contrary, patriotism is what makes us behave unselfishly. It's what makes us recognize an obligation to our neighbors. And Europe will be stronger precisely because it has a strong and proud Croatia, a strong and proud Britain, a strong and proud Portugal, and so on. What do you think about strong and proud Croatian government? Uh, it, it, it's, uh, you're a sovereign country, you will have to decide what, to, uh, what kind of government uh, you want. One thing I would say is that you should not expect the European Union to solve the, process, uh, the problem of political corruption. Uh, on the contrary, uh, Brussels gives enormous new opportunities for fraud uh, uh, and for uh, bad behaviour. Uh, for 16 years in a row now, the European Court of Auditors has refused to endorse the EU budget because such a high percentage of the budget is being lost or is unaccounted for. Uh, so I can understand why uh, some people in every country see the opportunities in the Brussels system. But the way you tackle corruption is not by making government more remote from the people. The way you tackle corruption is by making government smaller so that you have fewer opportunities for nepotism, for promoting your family, giving deals to your friends. The less the government can do, the cleaner it becomes. And this is something you have to sort out for yourselves uh, and separately from, from the, the EU process. And I'm confident you will do that. Uh, but I'm afraid the, the experience of uh, some of the countries which have recently joined is that the EU uh, gives them whole new revenue streams to abuse uh, and to use improperly. So uh, is corruption a common problem in Europe or is it just new members, Croatia? And no, it's common to all countries, including mine, because if you have uh, budgets that are unaccountable, determined by people who are not elected, you create the opportunity for the misallocation of spending. If I look in my own constituency in the southeast of England, if I look at the people 
who live most directly under EU rules. My farmers, my fishermen, people whose uh, professional lives are completely under Brussels jurisdiction. I have seen in those professions good men, honest men, turned inch by inch, protesting every step of the way into liars and cheats and falsifiers of documents because that is how they have to operate within the Brussels rules. They are not happy about this. I, 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 I've seen fishermen, skippers, who are forced to keep two logs, two records, one the real one and then the one that they have to show the authorities because this is the requirement of the, in, in practical terms, of the common fisheries policy. So the, 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 the surest way to have efficient government is to bring it as close as possible to the people to make it as small as possible. What about the people? Uh, the part of Croatians are scared of European U Union and uh, new rules, should they be? Of euros? Yes. Well, uh, I can understand that. Uh, the single currency is looking like a very unattractive proposition. If uh, No one in Britain now is even thinking of the possibility. The people who were arguing that we should join the euro ten years ago have suddenly gone very quiet. Because if we had joined the single currency, if we had given up our pound, we would now be in the same situation that Ireland is in. Ireland has seen its GDP decline by 20%. It, uh, it could be looking at a generation of poverty and emigration, all because it is not able to run its own monetary policy in its own interest. Our countries are not all identical, and you, you have to have the economic flexibility to do what is right for your own country. So we should keep Kuna for a while? <laughs> like I say, it's your decision. It's your decision. All I would say is I am very glad that we kept the pound. Okay, uh, so uh, about UK, a uh, few words. What is the most attractive thing about your country? <laughs> I, I you think... love UK, so... Well, I, I am never happier than when tramping around in the countryside, uh, especially at this time of year. When it doesn't rain, it is the most wonderful uh, place for me. Uh, but the, the, the one thing I think Britain has contributed, if I, if I am proud of one thing that we've given, it's that we developed and exported the idea that laws should not be passed nor taxes raised except by our own elected representatives. And we exported that idea to North America and to other continents. Now, partly because of the European Union, it is looking a little bit more fragile at home. And that, that is a problem we have to, to tackle. Are there any similarities between my country and your country? Or there are just differences? Uh, of course there are similarities. I mean, of course, we, you know, we are, we are Western liberal democracies with a parliamentary system, with property rights. Uh, we have a long history together. There are many people of Croatian uh, origin in the United Kingdom. Uh, those similarities do not mean that we should have the same system of government. Uh, I believe in a Europe of nations where decisions are taken as closely as possible to the people that they affect. And that's, that's why I'm not a believer in a European superstate. It's not because I'm anti-Europe, I speak French, I speak Spanish, uh, I've lived and worked all over the continent. Uh, my problem with the system is that the Brussels bureaucracy has become remote and self-serving and cut off from the people it's supposed to represent. Thank you very much, Mr. Daniel. Thank you.